Coombe Cassis IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Well, I'm at Averley Football Club here, randomly bun bumped into Ethan Payne here, Bazinga. Yeah. yeah. What are the chances? What are the chances? chances? I get into the car park and I see big, lovely gook. Lovely. Love that, love that. Talk to us about what you're doing here today. So we are playing a football game, my Sunday league team. We've got enough players to do a game together. So we've got an orange team and a white team. We're raising money for St Francis Hospice. We're up to five grand. Uh, we've got a link on our Instagram and stuff like that. So yeah, just try to raise money. Do you know when you look at some people and you don't know whether they can actually play football or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look at you and I think, Ethan can't play. All right, no, listen. But can you play? I would describe myself as distinctly average. But I can play. I can play, but not to a high level. So I'm all right. Wonderful, but it's a good turnout. But uh, what's been going on with you over the last sort of few months? Oh, life's busy, man. I've got a baby on the way, due October. So. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. So very nearly uh, at time for that. So just all my life's been working, prepping towards that and just being as ready as I ever can be. Okay. So is that your first child yeah, on the way? first child. First child, yeah. And uh, it's a baby girl, so got a lot to learn. Learning on the job. Well, I've just had a baby girl. She's yeah. 18 months. So <laughs> what I'm going to say to you is good fucking luck. <laughs> Do you know what? I've had two or three people say this to me. I was in a sweet shop the other day and he went, geezer, good luck. So, yeah. Ethan, I'm being serious. Yeah, good yeah. fucking luck. Right, then, don't worry. I'll take it to heart. <laughs> um, all right. Well, listen, just before I let you go, obviously, there's a lot going on at the moment, etc. In kind of, I say your world, but it crosses over to my yeah, world yeah, as well. Yeah. So, obviously, KSI is in action against Alex yeah. Wasabi at the end of uh, August. What do you think about that fight? I've already said to JJ, I want him to starch this guy. I know that he's been out of the ring for three years, but I, this sounds bad, but I want to see Alex go stiff, all right? I need to see a performance. We can't have Jake Paul slumping Tyrone Woodley and what, like, that was such a good knockout. Like, the clip itself is phenomenal. So I need JJ to rival it with a great knockout on this event. Um, but, you know, he's been working hard. I ain't seen him in this shape ever. Even for the Joe Weller fight, he was in incredible shape. But right now, it's different. There's also been a situation regarding uh, someone you know well and I know well as well yeah. uh, in uh, Gibb yeah. uh, and Austin uh, McBroom. What have you made of that? I mean, it's it's a bit unfortunate that. It's a bit unfortunate. Apparently, the LA Commission are saying that um, the scans, the UK scans, are not accepting them. So we're just hoping for the best. Hopefully, he gets over and gets it checked out. I don't think it's going to take place on the 30th, but I think it will go through. Um, but I think Gibb wins out again. I don't know if you saw a recent picture of him. My God. I know he's built like a fridge, but it's a it's a de defined fridge. I know Gib will be watching this, yeah. but we're Team Gib. We, yeah, we are, are Team, team Gib. Yeah. I don't care if T uh, uh, and Ethan Gib's fighting fucking whoever, <laughs> like Anthony Joshua. Yeah, yeah. We're we're Team Gib. You know what? He's just one of them geezers, like you can't help but love, like just his personality, everything. So big Gib, if you're seeing this, big love. Final one before I let you go. Obviously, Jake Paul seems to as he's stepped away, not stepped away, but he's broken himself away with what he's doing in boxing at the moment. Yeah. What's your thoughts? I think that only comes with being, how many fights deep now? Four or five deep. He's beat Tyron Woodley twice. He's beat, a couple, he's beat Ben Askren as well. So I think it was time to fight an actual fighter. I'm actually really disappointed that the Tommy Fury fight didn't go ahead. So that's gutting because I was, I was really intrigued to see how that one panned out. But this geezer he's fighting, he's whopping. He's huge. He's six foot three. He was two hundred twenty-four pounds last. That was a legend. So I know, and he's a heavy. He's a he's natural heavyweight. So coming down to cruiserweight, we'll see. But it's a long day. It's a long day. I wouldn't want to be fighting him. So good luck, Jake. Um, but I think my money's on the box over this one. I think. Um, are we still optimistic of Jake Paul and, and KSI, or is that uh, like a forgotten dream? No, I think it will happen because that's what JJ's working towards. JJ set up this whole uh, shebang with the zone. I think it's like a three-fight deal. I don't know what it is, something like that. But he's going on after this again, uh, and we'll see what he can get done in this fight and lead on to the next one. I'm gonna let you get on because yeah, I know no you want to uh, eat your oranges. oranges for half time, all of that. Yeah, getting ready for it. Anything else you want to say, mate? Uh, do you know what? Big up IFL, man. Your viewers are lovely. Uh, thank you for supporting all the YouTube stuff when it did go on. Uh, and yeah, have a good day. Top man, Ethan Payne. Thank right, you very much. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness. <laughs> Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.